Welcome to Return to Christ. Um, we're in a teaching series of how to become a master of the return to Christ. And we're looking to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 6 through 9. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth. But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. Okay. Uh, the Apostle Paul is writing here that uh, he would desire to, to, to glorify himself, uh, but he knows if he did that, he would be a fool because it, it, it wasn't his ability that uh, enabled him to do great things for God. Okay, continue. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh the messenger of Satan, to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Okay. He experienced some wonderful things, um, revelations of, of God, and uh, he's saying that um, it was the, the impediment we're not sure exactly what that impediment is, but he uh, uh, that impediment kept him in humility, and he was honest about it, uh, and so let's let's go on and see what he says. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice. Okay, three times. He earnestly prayed, God, God, take this thing away from me. It's, it's bothering me. Uh, 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 I, all I do is think about it all the time. Go ahead. That it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Okay. Um, it, he was he was a great man. He was a great um, preacher, teacher, writer, um, and and yet um, he had this impediment. And, and Jesus said, uh, told him that um, even though uh, that he wouldn't take away that impediment, God had the power to do it. But he said, I'm not going to do it because I'm going to d demonstrate my grace in your life. Um, and he said, uh, God, Jesus speaking, said, my strength is made perfect in weakness. Okay, whatever your weakness is, uh, you, you'd like to get rid of it, perhaps. You think it's holding you back from serving God. I'm here to tell you the contrary to that. It's the thing that can help you with your connection with God because uh, you have a need. You have a need for God in that area. And so uh, what you need to do is you lift up that area uh, continually before God and thanking him for all things and telling him uh, to please use this uh, for your glory somehow. So um, there are many things that that you could you could use in a, as an example um, that um, God perhaps 
you have a, a, a tendency, maybe, maybe you're an alcoholic, okay? And, uh, and on your own strength, you cannot overcome this thing. It's, it's, it's bigger than you can handle. But Jesus said, if you, if you depend on him, if you seek his help, you can say to this mountain, be thou removed. And it'll be cast into the sea. And then you can go out into the world and the people that know that you're an alcoholic, you tell them, not by my strength, but the, by the strength and power of Jesus Christ, he has helped me to overcome and be sober. Glory to God. You see how that works? The, the things that uh, uh, we can't overcome can become, uh, when, when we take them to him, he said, uh, uh, take your, cast your burden upon me. And, and he said, uh, take up your cross and follow me. So when we learn to depend on him, he can take those weaknesses and uh, he can show his strength. And, and then we don't, we're not going to be the fool and say, I did this myself. We're going to lift up his name and it's through the, the power of his name and, and his blood and his resurrection power, glory to God, of how he came out of the ground and that we can have that resurrection power in us. Now, we still uh, can have that propensity for alcohol, but if we stay connected to him, he'll give us power to live on through him into glory. God bless you for listening to this. If they pray, if they pray,